Again, just some delay and reverb and all together the hook sound like this. Yes, sir. Welcome back to another video, guys. I'm Skana Beats and I hope you are doing great. Today, I'm going to break down a beat for you guys that I made like last night i woke up at four in the morning and i was like super creative i couldn't sleep so i was like let me just open up my laptop and make some beats for a change because if you guys know me i barely make beats like i prefer making melodies and samples over beats i just like enjoy it way more than full beats from scratch but i'm going to break down this beat for you guys because i really like love this beat um it sort of has like the london feeling you can really like wrap the london over it this tutorial will be how to make a ambient travis scott young turk type of beat but with that being said if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe hello welcome to my youtube channel guys Today I am going to make a new video, so please subscribe, whatever. Don't forget to put on those post notifications to never miss a post or video that I drop on my channel. So let's just dive right into the video. I started off with the tempo at 94 and I started out with this bell sound. Like super ambient. This is what it sounds like. As you can hear, I threw on halftime some reverb and I cut out some lows and without the halftime it sounds like this. As you can hear right here, the notes are out of the scale, but I don't know what it was, but it just sounded like really good. Um, I just left it there because it like blended really well with like drums and the other instruments by the way i'm working on a new one shot kit for you guys and all these sounds are from the new one shot kit so fire so the next sound i just copied over the same chords I just added some simple reverb. After that, I started to add some drums because I didn't want the beat like to be too busy. So that's why I added the drums first and then added some counter melodies. For like the hook, I took out some notes from the main chords um, and it sounds like this. So that is really simple. Um, for drums, I just added a simple clap and I layered it with like another one. So this was the first clap I added. And then I layered that one with like another one. Like it's super quiet, but you can really like hear the difference with and without it. For the hi-hats, I just added a simple pattern. I did not do anything too crazy. But what I did do to the hi-hats to make it like a bit more interesting is add a loop rater. What this does is just like an effects plugin um, that like sort of glitches the sounds. If you guys remember Effectrix, it's sort of like the same what Effectrix does. So it sounds like this without the loop rater. So that's a bit dead to be honest, but when I added the looperator, it sounds like this. I really love the hi-hats in this beat. They are just like super bouncy. Then I added a 808, just a simple spins 808. And 
then the kick comes in. But then I was like, hmm, the beat really needs something more of like a counter melody or something. I grabbed another instrument and like a sort of plug sound. And this is what I came up with. Again, just some delay and reverb and all together the hook sound like this. Now for structuring, I did like a bunch of things because I even ended up um, adding another hi-hat pattern and another clap pattern. And I also added like the NBA Youngboy, that guitar sounds. Like as you can hear, it just like fitted really well with the beat. Right here, I got like two different patterns. So what I did with like this pattern to make like the beat a bit more interesting is make this pattern unique and then just like drag up the chords um, one octave. So just like that. And that way the beat will like kind of stay interesting. For the second hi-hat, really bouncy. It sounds like this. But um, I think this was pretty much it. Like the beat is like super simple, but it really like knocks hard. I'll probably throw on the vocals from the London on it for you guys to give you an idea. But I'm gonna play it for you guys in a second. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned from this as well. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And by the way, don't forget to join the challenge. It's totally free. All you gotta do is make two beats with my recent loop kit i just dropped radiation loop kit and send it over to scanabeats at gmail.com and there are some sweet prizes as well so definitely check that out and i hope to see you in the next video guys peace